What's up guys, so check out this Thunderbolt display. Be nice if the other one worked. Wow, it does. Only it's not a Thunderbolt. It's the uh, Apple Cinema 30 inch display that came out back in 2004, believe it or not, but this thing still holds its own. It was pushing $4,000 back then, and it is really a beautiful monitor. So for the longest time, this M1 Mac Mini could only support one display for me, really, until this new Mac OS 11.2 update came out last night and fixed the issue I was having. So finally, both of my Apple Cinema displays are working. Uh, this one is not quite at full resolution yet, but I've got a few adapters that I'm going to try out and hopefully that'll fix everything. Um, the speakers on this Thunderbolt display are working because I have it hooked up with a uh, FireWire 2 to FireWire 3 adapter. So that's all working and automatic through the UI. This one doesn't have speakers, but uh, it works for the display and then the brightness and everything is manual on the side. The other great fix that 11.2 came out with last night was a Bluetooth patch. So as you see here, I have the Magic Mouse 2, the Magic Trackpad 2, both of these in Space Gray, and then the MX Master 3 for Mac, all three in Space Gray actually. They're all hooked up to Bluetooth, and up until last night, basically you could just use one of these at a time um, without having you know major issues. But as you see now, Magic Mouse 2 is working, Magic Trackpad 3, and then the MX Master all at the same time without any issues. So this update really fixed a lot. Now I can use both of these monitors the way I've always wanted to. It, despite having limited resolution on this one, it's still a worthwhile fix. I've got a few adapters I'm gonna be testing out that didn't work at all before. Um, for dual monitor support, but worked great if I just wanted this one by itself. I'd get full resolution and everything out of it. So hopefully this fix kind of addressed some of those issues too. I'll be checking that out as well as cleaning all this up and finalizing my setup. If you guys have any ideas for me, go ahead and let me know. Be sure to check out my other videos, including this one on our Tesla Model S that's driving itself in the rain. All right, until next time, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for a whole lot more videos. All right, peace.